Your Majesty, Your Royal Highnesses, Vice President Joe Biden, what great pleasure to have you here. I have the honor to introduce you more formally tomorrow, Dr. Biden. Friends, members of the World Economic Forum, what incredible community again. And I have the pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the managing board and here particularly of my colleague, Howell, who has the responsibility for this meeting. And I'm not counting uh, security and the 2,400 people who are here, plus Robert Huber, to make your life efficient and enjoyable. We are here, leaders from all walks of the life, political leaders, business leaders, our partners and our members, but also I would like to welcome the representatives of civil society, particularly also the young people. We feel with the median age of 27 in the world, young people have to be engaged. So I welcome particularly our young global leaders, our global shapers, and our social entrepreneurs. Please stand up. Yeah. And, for the first time, we have even a young role, a global shaper as one of our co-chairs. Welcome. <laughs> of course, we know that um, this meeting is very much in the public eye. We welcome the public engagement and we welcome the media here. And this meeting is animated by the best minds in the world. So a special welcome to the heads of our Global Agenda Councils, to all those brilliant people who are here among us. We are a true community and Davos is not just an event, it's not just a conference, it is an experience. And I have three wishes. When you leave, the first wish, I hope you have made many friends here. And friends, particularly from other countries, bridge building. Second, I hope that you go home with one transformative idea not just for your company, but for yourself. And finally, I hope you go home and you are, as myself and all my colleagues, convinced that the future of our small global village can only be well managed if there is as much dialogue collaboration and cooperation. Now I would like to invite my partner and actually the chair of our partner organization, the World Arts Forum, to take the place here. 